Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me, Kim Williams. I hope that you're all well. This past weekend, Apple TV dropped their brand new original movie for their streaming service starring two main men, George Clooney and Brad Pitt. So I checked it out on the streaming service, so here is my thoughts on the movie Wolves. Not spelt like that. <sighs> Shocking spelling. Anyway, here we go. So, Wolves is an Apple original movie that is directed by John Watts. And if you are aware of his work, he did all three Spider-Man movies for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and was involved in some sort of creative capacity for the brand new Fantastic Four movie. But before that movie was released, he decided to direct this movie for Apple, starring two of the biggest leading stars who can lead a movie practically by themselves. Combine them together and you've got this movie, George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Of course, they've worked together in the Ocean Trilogy and they are back here again for another crime thriller. I think it's probably the best way to describe this movie. Um, I checked the trailer out when it, when it dropped. Uh, I was massively excited. I like both of these guys. I think they do some incredible stuff. A wide range of stuff as well. I think that's really great. Particularly Brad Pitt, man. I mean, he... When you look at his film filmography, he does so many great creative stuff. And uh, Clooney, of course, has done some directorial stuff recently as well. So he's one of the there are two actors where you want to see exactly what they're doing next. They don't do two, three movies a year. So when they do have a movie, particularly together, it does definitely always intrigue me. Um, the worry was a little bit was that this was a streaming service movie. This is going to go straight to streaming. I think the generic idea of streaming service movies is that they're very casual filmed um, and they're not very well received. A lot of people will put the Netflix originals and, and Apple originals in their bottom 10. I'm not that type of person. I enjoy quite a few of them. And this one I definitely is in more of the positive than the negative latter for a streaming service movie. Um, mainly... Here, George Clooney and Brad Pitt have fantastic chemistry, which was un unbelievably expected from myself. Um, they carry the movie in more ways than one. Every type of subgenre that this movie focuses on, that's their main focus. Uh, and, and that's what they implement throughout the performance, whether it's really good action, whether it's this sort of light-hearted buddy comedy, whether it's like the thrilling moments. I think like that's exactly what these guys deliver on. I mean, they can lead a movie on their own, but I think having their, them combined works really, really well. However, I think a slight negative, I am going to nitpick a little bit. I think if you're a fan of this genre, but not a fan of them too, I don't think you'd like this movie as much. Now, there's not a lot of people that doesn't like Brad Pitt or George Clooney, but I do think if you don't, it's a movie which don't offer anything else substance wise to kind of keep you involved if you're a fan of the genre. Um, for me personally, what this movie really lacks in is story and how creative they can potentially be with the story. I think they started with a sense of urgency. They got the story up and running very, very quickly. And then it kind of fell in this generic ideas um, but particularly with the way that they handled the villains. I thought there was going to be a nice little twist at the end. I think the twist is revealed far too late, but also kind of far too casually as well. You kind of know that the movie is, is coming to a close, so you feel like they kind of forgot to do that much earlier on and then said, well, this is only what happened. That was a bit of a negative for me. It kind of ruined the movie, particularly towards the end. I think regardless of who you've got in your main lead, you have to have a solid story, particularly within that genre. I don't think they do that at all, which is a real shame. But for me, I think this movie holds on massively with my intrigue because of these main two stars. Um, I do think that there's potential for a sequel. I think that that would be really cool. Um, potentially a TV show as well, but I don't think you'll get both of these guys for a dedicated TV show. I just don't think that's possible. Um, and one final thing I wanted to kind of say that I thought was a little bit of a negative was the script. I mean, this concept of being a lone wolf, then kind of teaming up, I think that's fine. I think that's something that is 
been done in the past, but I don't think is necessarily stereotypical because you can kind of mix it all in. But the script in certain moments, there was a line that really sticks with me as I was watching it go, you're not wolves, you're buddies. So, like, he's one of them, it's just, you're not that bothered in terms of the fact that they're buddies. Okay, it was never going to not be the case where they weren't going to team up. I think that just showed an incredible lack of common sense and I don't want to offend anybody with that but I just think it showed an incredible lack of their buddies now you know they're not lone wolves like they said they were going to be well we kind of knew that already you know we've been watching this movie for about an hour um, so I think the script was very questionable in a lot of the times I think there were some decent you know quirky moments uh, build up of comedy and sort of natural you know, facial expressions from the from the two main guys that I think really leans a lot of the way that the movie was written into comedy moments. So overall, it, it's not a terrible. It's not a terrible streaming service movie. Um, I'd happily recommend it to people who are fans of Clooney, of Pitt, of that you know genre. If you want to watch this, uh, but for me, it's not outstanding. It's definitely not something that I can see being built up in a kind of a cinema experience. I think it just go very generic in that sense. I don't think people will be massively intrigued if they have to pay the cinema prices for just a, a very easy crime thriller. So for me, whilst there were strengths, there were some very overarching negatives. That's why Wolves gets a 6 out of 10. So that is it for the review of Wolves. Let me know what you think about the movie in the comment section below. Feel that comment section with all your awesome opinion like and subscribe so you never miss any of the uploads i've been kieran goodens and i've hoped to make a conversation about film and tv sound just a little bit more interesting see you in a bit <laughs>